Hey there, fellows. So you might remember this car right here. It was subject to some wonderful experimentation. It's actually all still in here. We still haven't unloaded it since we got back. Now, nearing the end of those last experiments, something seemed to have broken in the suspension. It started making a horrible racket. And I am really curious as to what might have caused that. I mean, we were throwing stuff overboard. And this is what was getting broken. How could that in any way have affected the car's suspension is beyond me. But I mean, hey, that's a lot of for you. You expect one thing to happen and you get something else entirely. Now, I'm sure some of you have heard the old stories from back in the day, from a time when car parts were hard to come by, especially for imports. You know, I think something like that actually might have happened to a buddy of mine. He was buying himself a car and I clearly remember it being a Mercedes. He inspected it, went for a drive, everything seemed to be in order, but then a few days later the suspension started developing knocks. They started coming from one place, then another, and everybody who remembers that incident tells the exact same story. They lifted the car, had a look, and it turned out that the bushings were made from wood. Well, they were hard to find back then. I mean, you could have put them on back order for some ridiculous amount of money. So apparently back then, when the time came to sell a car, some people were replacing busted bushings with wood as a sort of band-aid. Anyway, so on our way back to base, we went ahead and gathered a bit of wood. These pieces are round, which is important. They're quite thick, so cutting some bushings out of them should be a piece of cake. Now, the reason we chose birch is that it's a very hard variety of wood. I mean, go ahead and try breaking a handle for a shovel made out of birch. If the wood doesn't have any nuts in it, you are gonna have a hard time breaking one of those. And so that's the reason we chose it. Right, let's make us some bushings out of birch tree and go for a drive. Fellas, big thanks for taking so many pictures with our merch. You want some drip like this for yourself? Then check out our latest collection of merch. We've got some trendy hoodies, some toasty vests, stylish hats and t-shirts, baseball caps to suit anybody's taste, mugs, stickers, and of course some goodies for your cars. Air fresheners, license plate frames, document holders, key fobs. Hit the link in the description to get yourself some Garage 54 goodness. Get yourself some merch and don't forget to use the code Garage 54, which is good for a solid discount. We make bushings out of birch tree. Will they work? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Look at how good of a replacement these wooden bits are for rubber bushings. Pressing them into the eyelets wasn't too difficult. The holes have to be drilled after you shove them in, of course. Because if we'd have done that first, we would have broken the bushings while trying to press them in. So it's fit them, then drill. Then install some sleeves. Man, this looks... If you were to spray paint this or dip it into... some black paint or some used motor oil, just by looking at it, and especially if you don't know what to look for, you might not even be able to tell them apart from rubber bushings. Until you try to move them around, of course. So far this is going quite well, I'd say. Let's do them all up then, and assemble the suspension. Let's get to it. Right, so the rear suspension links were pretty easy to sort. But then, we got around to making bushings for the front suspension arms. Yeah, this just doesn't want to move at all. Then again, how would you even be able to move it with your bare hands? And now we install them. 
Don't they just look lovely? Look at them nice wooden bits. No more rubber bushings in there. And you really won't even tell the difference after spraying on a bit of paint. Yeah, this is going very well indeed. Now let's fit them and begin the testing. Alright, so the wooden bushings are where they need to be. Of course, they aren't under any load, it's just the spring pushing on the arm. The shock is keeping everything in check. We also had to tend to a certain problem area inherent to these cars. Namely, these studs constantly breaking off. That we fixed with a few welds. I'm sure that like 90% of these cars are driving around with those brackets welded on, so we should be alright. Okay, so these bushings are in place. Now let's have a look at the rear suspension. Well, things aren't that much different back here. There they are, sitting firmly in place. The link isn't even moving, which isn't surprising, given we're not running any rubber bushings. That's wood! Yeah, they aren't welded on, but that is some stiffness. So it's all in place. But then again, why wouldn't it be? We've got a suppress, some bits of birch tree, we shoved that in there, and now the interesting part, which is, of course, the testing. We want to know how reliable they are, first of all, and overall how well they're gonna function. Okay, I guess it's time to head out. Let's do this. Oh my. What do you know? So far, so good. But who even knows how this is gonna progress? Oh, wow! <laughs> Those noises, man! Holy cow! I mean, that is some serious creaking. Why didn't you dress up before going outside? These Siberians aren't afraid of anything. It's minus 12 and he's wearing a t-shirt. It's not that cold, right? Okay, here we go. We made it out. Yeah, this whole wooden bushing thing is taking quite an interesting turn. I'm starting to become suspicious of them stories. I mean, you can really hear them creaking. You can literally hear every motion made by the suspension links. That's just nasty. We wanted for the car to drive like a dream, for things to be absolutely beautiful. But in fact, it's quite the opposite. We should have soaked them in oil. Yeah, you might be right. Maybe we should have soaked them in oil. But they were just using wood in those stories. And so that's what we've done. We haven't modified them at all. We cut ours out, stuffed them in, drilled some holes, and threw the suspension together. That's literally all we did. I think all of them are making noise, especially the ones up front. After one kilometer, it feels like they're breaking in. I mean, they're still creaking, but they're just not as loud. Okay, what just happened? What's making that weird squeak? What, now it's gone? After three more kilometers.
Okay, I've got the car on a lift. The snow hasn't even melted since I got inside. Let's see how the bushings are feeling. We weren't able to drive all that far. And though they weren't making as much noise, but you can see cracks on pretty much every one of them. See what's happening to them? That's despite us not having driven all that much. We kept the speed low, though the road was a bit... as you'd expect, let's just say. We weren't driving over pavement. We were sticking to the territory of the garage complex. Right, we've examined the back end. We can see that they're falling apart. And I am not at all surprised that Wood is doing that. And the rear suspension wasn't even under that much load. It is the winter and uh, you're not going to get much grip on the snow. If it were summer, we could have stepped on it to put some stress onto these links. And they probably wouldn't have even lasted three seconds. Let's see what's happening up front. They must have endured even more punishment. They had to have. Okay, this bushing has a big crack in it. It's this close to crumbling. What about that one? Yep, this one also has a nasty crack in it. For some reason, it's the rearward one. So the wooden bushings seem to be... apprehensive about their working environment. Though it might be for the best, on the other hand. And that's all I have for you, fellows. Watch us, subscribe, send in them suggestions, comments. Always check the suspension when buying a car. And let us know if you've ever seen anything like this before. And that'll be all. Catch you later. Now let's make some out of oak. I'm joking. We've all seen that this doesn't work.